Spain and the United States of America. It's the Beast Boy, Chris Barnett! From Spain, have a look. <laughs> Very powerful way going inside. It certainly is, we love to see this, bringing a bit of personality to the ring. <laughs> can certainly talk the walk, can't he? Now he told us, don't blink for this fight. So, better make sure we don't blink. <laughs> well, actually, we're keeping my eyes wide open. 118 kilos. You can probably see that before he takes his shirt off. He has a, an MMA record of 5 and 0. Oh. That means he's unbeaten, ladies and gentlemen, in his five contests. Had a wrestling, judo, and taekwondo background. 1.77 meters tall, so he's about 5 foot 11 if you're uh, more used to imperial measurements. And even at his weight, this guy does flying knees. It takes a lot of agility and skill to do flying knees. So I can't wait to see that. I've never seen a heavyweight do flying knees. Yeah, I think you'll all be surprised. For a big fella, he's very agile. In the red corner, all two from the United States of America, it's Eric, the Soldier Boy, right? Eric Prindle from the United States of America, much taller than his opponent, comes in at 1.93 meters. And as you can see, he's an enormous fella. Yes. Got a big pair of shoulders on him, isn't he? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this guy's had like over 100 fights in amateur boxing when he was stationed in the Army. On top of that, he's one of the training partners of Brock Lesnar. And word is, he's given Brock Lesnar a hard time in training. He is just huge, isn't he? Exactly. You wouldn't want him to get hold of you. Oh, I'm sure he's got a very firm grip and can pack a very strong punch. As you say, very experienced in the stand-up world. He has done um, uh, a little bit of a Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but boxing is his main claim to fame. Yes. In MMA, he has a one-and-one one record. So in his two fights, he's already lost one. Let's see if that uh, big, imposing frame of his can... Uh, well, another another thing about, about his technique, I guess. Exactly. Another thing about Eric is he's also a Naga champion. Naga is one of the biggest tournaments in the U.S., and he's a champion in that. So that also says that he also knows how to fight very well on the ground. Well, his opponent there, Chris Barnett, came in with a lot of personality. Now looking a little bit more focused. Very shortly, he'll come face to face with his opponent and you'll see quite a difference in body shape yes these are the biggest guys ever to grace the ring here in, in martial combat well i'm reliably informed it's a sturdy structure and is unlikely to collapse <laughs> but my goodness me this fella is wow. huge <laughs> no wonder he gave brock lesnar a hard time he felt as big as brock well he's just looked down at us at ringside and for a couple of seconds there, he had a bit of a mean step, but finally this he smiled. This fantastic <laughs> evening of fight action is brought to you by our official equipment provider, Fairtex and Resorts World Santosa. A million moments, one world. This contest is scheduled for three rounds of five minutes each. Our cage side medical staff and doctors are some of Singapore's very best professionals, and they hail from the Changi Sports Medical Center. Your referee for the fight, Mr. John Shaw. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. It's time for combat! Fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a highly agile MMA fighter given his size. He's famous for his ability to execute flying punches and knees. He stands at 177 kilograms, uh, 70, 177 centimeters tall and weighs in at an immense 136 kilograms. He has a perfect MMA record of five wins and no losses. Representing Gracia, Tampa XFC, and from the United States of America, it's the Beast Boy, Prince Bonnie!
Fighting out the Red Goddard, this man is a former soldier with the U.S. Army and a five-time All-Army Champion. He has also trained with some of the best MMA fighters from around the world. He stands at 193 centimeters tall and weighs in at a 125 kilogram weight. With a professional MMA record of one win and, no, and one loss, he fights for CSW Gym from the United States of America. He's Eric. The American soldier, Brenda! I've just been informed that uh, Eric Pringle came to Singapore and he had to have size 4XL gloves and they had to be wow. specially shipped in just two days ago. It was quite a logistical problem for our team here. They managed it, but my goodness, what a huge man he is. Yeah, look at those hands though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not many people are taller than John Sharp in the middle, our referee. And uh, I think it's fair to say that Eric Pringle, Pringle, it's Pringle with a D, outdoes him in just about every dimension. What a huge honor. Anyway. Case to start. Oh, starting off with a heavy kick. Nice kick by Chris Barnett. Yeah. Eric's hands are a bit low, though. He has his hands on his chest. He has to keep it up high. Maybe he's underestimating the kicking ability of Chris Barnett. Leads in with a left jab that had the full body weight behind it, followed up with a right hand. But uh, Chris Barnett, as we've discussed already, has some weight behind him, and it wasn't too difficult for him to All drive right, Prindle into the cage. Okay, right now, Chris Barnett's arm might be open for a kimura lock. Now, Eric, Eric was going for a kimura lock a while ago to stop the double leg, but then decided to forego it. Okay, he's going for it again. What, 100 and... 100 and uh, 18 kilograms pins you on the cage. It's, it's difficult to uh, break free. Now, what's going on here, Alvin? Okay, what's happening is Eric's trying to... Wow! Whoa, knee to the head. Well, Eric was trying to set up, uh, you know, a defensive takedown, but he saw the head open, went for a knee strike there. With guys of this size, the action is not going to be as fast and furious as we see in some other contests, but when connections are made, they'll be heavy. And uh, Chris Barnett has already shown that he favours that right kick to the side of the leg. Okay, that's the third time he's landed that kick. Uh, Prindle's knee will be taking some punishment there. He actually lands it on the joint, and that will swell up very quickly because there's very little in the way of oh, fat muscle nice. to protect it. A Good nice right hand, wasn't it? Beautiful Superman punch. That's when you pretend to punch, and then you fire with the right hand. And you leap off the ground, if I'm not mistaken, as well, for that Superman punch, just as Barnett did there. Uh oh, there's an accidental groin shot there. Good sportsmanship from both fellas. The instant apology from Eric Prindle and acknowledgement from Chris Barnett. And uh, he was given a moment there just to compose himself. And good for him, he's composed himself quickly. Imagine being able to recover that fast from a groin shot, especially from another heavyweight. Not quite sure how he did that, I must say, <laughs> from my own limited experience of such things. <laughs> Oh, and he caught him, did Prendel there with a good right hand and followed up with a left. And you wonder how many times a man can take punches with that heaviness behind them. Okay, Chris Barnett's really doing well with those leg kicks. Eric's going to feel that later on in the fight if he doesn't defend right away. And as I was saying earlier, if he can continue to favor the kick towards the knee there, it'll, uh, it'll bruise and blow up pretty quickly. Oh! <laughs> Turning side kick. He's on target with it as well. We did tell you he was nimble. Deceptively so, and that was a heavy blow. Yeah, nice body the kick there. there. Both men, oh, a good right hand, single shots. Fellas of this size will find it difficult to. Oh my wow. goodness me. You see the taekwondo background of Chris Barnett. He really took Very off. Very evident there. A nice way to, you know, to. To close the distance and we have Eric right now oh Eric gets on top right now in the in the mount position and he goes for side mount not a good position to be if you're Chris Barnett Chris Barnett was trying to bring him down uh, onto the canvas but got switched in the process back up they go nice defense down goes Prindle Barnett's on top Barnett's in side mount right now 
with his hips up. It looks like he's trying to go for a full mount. He's trying to push the legs down. Both men using their free hands to throw punches. Okay, if you notice, Chris Barnett's left leg is up. He's, he's going to try to go for the mount. And look. Oh, just tried to wrap the head between his knees there. Couldn't quite do it. Those punches landing solidly to the head. He's going for a Kimura lock there. He's trying to work on the arm, but Eric knows better. Okay, if you notice, Eric's legs are like that. Eric puts his legs up like that, so it's going to be very hard for Chris Barnett to mount. But now, Chris Barnett gets the mount anyway. It. Yes. Elbow in the face, just rubbing it in there, roughing up his opponent. The right hands to the body. The reason why fighters like to be in the mount position is because when you're on top, you can punch and the person in the bottom cannot reach your face if he decides to punch. You can see welts there on Eric Prindle's left side of his body there already from those thunderous blows that are coming down. Already heavily bruised there. Okay, Chris Barnett is able to make distance. Once you make distance like that, you can just rain down blows without any fear of being hit yourself. Those size 4 XL gloves. Wow. Coming in very handy now, just trying to protect himself and pull his man closer to take away the leverage as the end of the first round approaches. And Eric is saved by the bell there. How about this for sportsmanship? How about that? I don't think we've seen that in our 12 evenings this year of martial combat. One fighter helping the other off the deck. Yes. It's going to be a very, very interesting fight to watch. Two great sports, two big men. Could end any second, as you've already seen tonight. Keep your eyes open, folks. Who would you give that round to, Alvin? I'd have to give it to Chris Barnett. I mean, he had, you know, more of the kicks, then he had a takedown, then he was able to get the full mount position, and he's really impressed the crowd with his taekwondo combinations. A spinning <laughs> kick, I mean, it was telegraphed. He said a telegraph saying, I'm going to kick you at least two days earlier. But still, Eric Prindle couldn't get out of the way of it. It's uh, deceptive because you're not quite sure when in that movement he's going to unload. Exactly. A very good defense there from Chris Barnett. Ends up in the mount position. Impressive round from Barnett. Fighting out of Spain. Both men breathing heavily, sweating profusely. and continuing in their fine sportsmanship at the beginning of this second round. Little clipped left hook from Prindle. Wow. <laughs> Just pulled out of that one. <laughs> See Chris in his Taekwondo combinations. Oh! He went for a, a turning long kick. And was countered, wasn't he? Took him exactly. off balance. <laughs> Down he went, but back up again. Mm. He charged right into the leg there, though. Just as Eric was throwing a kick. It's pretty brave of him to do so because it did connect that uh, knee to the body. But um, yeah, had the presence of mind to grab it that knee while it was up there and see if he can gain an advantage from this position with Prindle's back against the cage. Okay, Chris is going for a single leg. Now you see the corner of Eric shouting underhook, underhook to make sure he doesn't get near. Okay, he might be able to get the back. Couldn't quite get round the back there. Slippery customer, Chris Barnett. <laughs> <laughs> Great to hear the applause of appreciation for the technicalities of this contest. Oh, definitely. These big guys have a lot of technique. Prindle wow. looking to unload. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. <laughs> look it's at like a bull, isn't he? I know. Look at the way he was just. <laughs> it's a good job we have a reinforced cage around this arena. <laughs> I must say, when they are standing up, Prindle looking to unload in single shots. Doesn't seem so willing or perhaps even able to throw a speedy combination of more than two punches. Prindle looking for assistance from the referee, I think, there. Okay. Chris Barnett has to oh. stand up. He's got to stand up. Guy just stay down like that.